Welcome back, folks, to Let's 100% Vice City. Last part, we looked at some almost naked women and uh, flew our helicopter around a lot. In this part, we're going to meet our old buddy Phil and see what he's up to. Phil? Run! Run! Never get a naked flame too close to where the Phil Cassidy's moonshine steals. Shit, Phil. Did you drink that stuff? The hell, you don't have to drink it. Just a good whiff will set you off. Ah, Listen, Phil, you said you could fix me up with some firepower. Sure thing. There's some Mexican gun runner been doing me for business of late. He does his weekly run about now. Hey. Ram his hardware off the back of his trucks before he goes to ground. And you'd be doing me a favor while you're at it. Then finish him off. So as I said, Phil's missions are a bit gimmicky. Uh, this one is a... Or this one has you knocking uh, items off of trucks, which I don't think you see that that frequently. Because most of the time it's like, okay, kill them under these conditions. But this is essentially just damage them uh, and then kill them. It's it's a very weird kind of delayed thing, but I think it actually kind of works. Go, Edson, what are you doing driving like that? Okay, and there we go. And oh my god! Uh, okay. So yeah, that guy uh, did, did not like us uh, how we handled business. So, yeah, these guys are... This mission isn't that hard, it's just that it's very easy to fail. The thing about it is, like, once you knock it off, or knock the guy's uh, materials off, they really come after you. And then, uh... The, uh, what was it? Uh, all of them do kind of a slow run over thing that sometimes you'll see cops do. And the slow run over thing will cause you to, um... Uh, will cause will cause you to take damage as they're slowly dragging you across the ground meaning they can kill you very easily it's not the worst way to die though the worst way is a tank exploding and then that happening so let's try this again and head on collision so yeah the So yeah, the much uh, less uh, dangerous method of doing this, or sorry. Oh shit, <laughs> I don't know what my point was. <laughs> so yeah, now we have to run away from these guys. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Yeah, once you take in a few, they call in reinforcements. Ah! Yes, okay, we got more bonuses because, we... holy shoot. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn it! So yeah, you, um... Jesus, okay, I didn't even practice this mission properly, I just did enough. I was like, ah, I can probably do it, and I guess not. I think my big mistake is I'm not getting weapons, or I'm, I'm not running away enough. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, we're barely five minutes in. Or we might not even be five minutes in, and I'm already failing like crazy. So let's, so let's try this again. So yeah. During this mission, two things will happen. One, the guys who you're stealing the guns from will attack you, obviously. But another thing is they'll start calling in reinforcements on mopeds, and those guys will kill you, try to kill you. And I don't really want to go back to my mansion to get spare weapons. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, so... Yeah. Oh, that was what I... Th did that guy just try to commit suicide, but didn't wasn't aware that he was over land? Alright. So yeah, the uh, easiest way I just remembered what it is, is actually that once you knock it off, then go for, uh, what's it called? Uh, ha! <laughs> Got him. Uh, then go for drive-bys, but I don't have a uh, spare, uh, I don't have, um, submachine gun ammo. So let's go for the boom. 
Wow, that didn't knock him down. Come on. There we go. So we gotta be careful here. Oh no! The dragging death again! Oh my god. I don't know what it is about these guys' cars, but they actually can do it pretty frequently. Okay, so... Um, we're pretty close to ammunition. And... You know, since we're having a bad time of it right now, I'm actually gonna do one of the side quests I was gonna do after Phil, which is, uh, the rifle range. The rifle range, um, will give you... will give you a special perk if you finish it with 45 or more points. And I found- and I finally remembered- well, no, I read about it, uh, how to get more points. And that is that, uh, the distance from you actually it matters with these, uh, shooting targets. God damn it. For example, the one in the back has three points attributed to it. The one in the front has- or the one in the middle is two, and the one in the front is one. So, just target the- Jesus, why is my mouse so jittery? God damn it. So, yeah. Just keep targeting this, the one that comes out from the right. God damn it. Fuck! I am freaking getting so fucked up right now. God damn it. Fuck. Jesus Christ. I'm aiming really badly here, and I think it's because of how I'm positioned. Uh, as I'm sure you've been able to see in certain parts, my keyboard is very loud, sometimes in quieter others. Uh, when it was at its loudest, I actually got really annoyed in my own video. So I decided to, like, put an extra freaking table just nearby. And, uh, there's where my keyboard's laying. But because of that extra space, I'm kind of a bit far away from my mouse, so I don't have a decent base, uh, to be able to use it. Because of this, my mouse movement is extra jittery, because it's from a fully extended hand. Or it's from a fully extended arm. A fully extended hand would be a bit brutal. Alright. Oh, fuck! I don't think I have enough time to get 45! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck off, okay. What keeps happening here is that I keep hitting the rim on the outside and it's really screwing with me. Oh, no, I can't... Damn it! One point off! Oh my god. That was stupid as hell. Yeah, my mouse is very strange. It's like, it's weird how it like... I think it has, like, kind of high acceleration, so that it, like, instantly goes to... So that for little movements, it's kind of annoying, but... Fuck. I keep forgetting that shooting is not how you skip it, it's shift. God damn it. So far, this is maybe the worst I've played in the entire run. God damn it. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck! It's like every time I, I click the mouse button to shoot, like the little movements of my hand are actually like pushing me forward or back more slightly. God! Well, okay, that fortunately turned out well. Oh, shit. Okay, now, no matter what, know that this is easier than San Andreas, because this is not hard. In San Andreas, it might have the hardest shooting gallery I've ever seen in any video game. In San Andreas, you have to do something like six shooting ranges in a row, and, um, what was it? Oh, yeah. Get all of them perfect, and if you don't do that, you your completion won't count. Oh, my God, no, I think I've... I think I've missed too many bullets. I don't think it's possible to actually... Yeah, but I've definitely missed too many bullets now. I don't think it's possible to win. Fuck you! God damn it. Oh my god. <sighs> this is pissing me off. Fucking Jesus. I'm earning $500, but it's like, that's worthless. I already have like, I already have finished all the eight businesses, so I have any, 
I have so much money I could get if I really needed it, but I don't. Like, I, I, the reason initially I thought, oh, I'll come to ammunition is actually because I was like, okay, I probably need weapons and armor for this mission. Again, I don't want to go all the way to the mansion. Uh, but then I'm like, wait, I can might as well just do this because I have to come here anyway. Oh my god. Fucking shit. What the fuck? Alright, come on. This went so smoothly, because this was one of the only things I did actually practice, and it was like second try that I got it. God damn it! it it's really weird, because it feels like there's almost like a kickback, as if like this, this gun really does have recoil. I just turned down my mouse sensitivity to be able to get a little... to hopefully be less infuriating. But it's weird how much it's still there. If you're wondering why I have my mouse sensitivity so high, if it pisses me off, it's because for movement and actual camera use, it actually is better to have it super highly uh, sensitive. It's for shooting where it actually isn't that great. But you probably drive a lot more and walk a lot more than you shoot in Vice City. Shit. Okay. So I just have to be very careful here. God damn it, really! How is it that I'm hitting the edges of these targets so frickin' much? Oh my god! Are you joking? One off, and because I keep fucking missing because of this goddamn mouse. Fuck! Oh my god, are you joking me? How is it that I'm missing like this? Fucking shit. Are you fucking joking me? Have you fuck- I swear, you can count, like, at least to double digits how many times I've hit the edge on the, the frames that hold these things, instead of the targets. Wait, oh my god, I've been shooting too much. I've been shooting too much, I actually don't think I have enough gun, or have enough ammo to even be able to- be able to finish this. Fuck! Once again, the frame! is somehow blocking me. Oh my god. Oh my god, one bullet left. <sighs> wow, this is by far the worst I've played the entire run. God! The fucking frame again! Jesus Christ. This is getting freaking AGAIN! This is silly- Okay, that time, that was me being stupid. But, the other t the other times it was just like... Geez, this is like flipping a coin, and somehow it's repeatedly landing on its edge. Ah, oh, sweet Jesus. God damn it. Oh my god, I'm fucking shooting bad. Are you fucking kidding me? Do you know what that was? Why I missed even though I was there? Even though I shot clear as fucking day. I somehow hit the spaces between two of them, and now I'm fucking finished. Jesus Christ. So now I actually got it. 
<sighs> Wait. Yep, I won the fast reload ability. This is also sometimes known as rapid rockets because it allows you to be able to... Um... To fire rockets in a rapid fashion. Alright. And body armor is the main thing I wanted. You better break yourself. Holy crap. So that was definitively the worst I think I've ever played Vice City. Why is it only fucking cops here? Why? Oh my god. Here's what I've been reduced to, folks. Running because all the cops and cars around me are cops. And nothing is spawning in. Man, we haven't even entered the time where we're- We haven't even started the part where we're drunk driving and I'm already freaking feeling like I'm driving drunk. Now let's get back on track. Oh, and by the way, this part I'm also going to be doing another list of the uh, Sunshine Autos. However, this is probably the easiest list. Since they're all sports cars which are mostly on Starfish Island. So they're pretty cool dang close. Alright. Oh, fuck. Damn, I flew out of my car, goddamn. Okay. So, took care of the dealers and... Oh, no, 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. I have to pick up that, I picked up that. Okay. So, took care of the dealers and now took care of the guns. Your best friend and you... So... Phew. So we got that taken care of, and let's hope we can run over the moped guys. Oh, the clean sweep! Did you see that? Holy crap, that was like an airbending slice, because it started to freaking, it like, it took a bit of a curve because they were trying to avoid me, and then I just knocked them all down. Oh, damn, that was too good. That was too good. Oh, my God. I might want to switch to a cop car here, but I don't want to take, don't want to lose them. Wow, that didn't knock it out. Oh, there it did. Oh my god, that guy has accuracy. Alright. Oh my god, I have to watch out for these guys. Oh, shit! Uh, yeah, like I said, I have to watch out for those guys. So yeah, but whoa! Not even fucking cops can can usually get that far. Oh my god, no! Shit! They blocked the entrance back on there. Oh my god! Ah, oh, this is bad. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, at least thanks to my armor, I actually survived. And for some reason, he only just now got there. What the fuck? Oh fuck! I can't knock it off. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh, fuck. Damn it! Fuck! No! <laughs> Come on! Oh, shit. Yeah, this mission is a lot harder than I remember. Even in practice, it wasn't this hard. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. I can't remember- I do remember that there is some- a simpler way of doing this, but I can't remember what it is. I don't think it was getting the tank, though. Fucking shit, but the- the thing that's really messing me up is the fact that you have to actually get out of the car in order to pick up the items. And that just makes you a big walking target. Whew! <sighs> okay. So, let's hope for something nicer this time. And... Knock off time, boom! Jesus! He popped all of my tires, oh no, he popped my two front tires. Um, there. Oh shit, I only got one of them. Crap, it's hoping for both. Wait, what the hell? Oh shoot, he's got he's off the beaten track. Crap. Keep moving, 
You know, I don't think about it. There, this might be the reason why. Oh my god. <sighs> Shoot. You know, now that I think about it, this is probably there probably is a reason why the, one of the first weapons they handed us was that, or the weapon that's right in front of you when you start this mission is a remote grenade. I think you're supposed to ambush these guys. But the way that it's written, it, it actually seems like you're supposed to knock them off with your car. Or at least that's the... I don't know if that was definitely it, because I can't remember the cutscene with Phil that well. But, yeah, it seemed, that seems about right. Oh my god. Oh, shit! Alright, time to get the cop car. And run like hell. I have to hope that... God damn it, they pop in the tire. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, I must have knocked him into a corner or something. Come on, baby. Come on, finish him off! There we go! Shit! Whoa, that was weird. It was like my car sank into the ground. Oh! That's it? Oh, shoot. Oh, damn. Whoa, the... The mission complete screen didn't come up. It was just stuck with the bonus screen. Okay, well, even though it doesn't have Phil on our radar, Phil is gonna call us to get us- to give us another mission. And I probably should have mentioned this at one point, but Phil is indeed the same guy from GTA 3. Uh, but that guy had one arm. Hmm. Tommy, it's Phil. Now cut out all the reminiscent crap and listen to me, you hear? Good. I got me some extra strength boonshine nearing fermentation time, and I was wondering if you'd fancy having a shot. Seriously, Tommy. If you like a drink, or if you need to strip paint, this stuff will make a man out of you. Sure did out of me, even though I can't see out of one eye. I'll be waiting for you. You hear? God damn. That sounds like some strong shit. Although, whenever I hear this, I, I think of the, a quote from Metal Gear Solid 3, where, uh... <laughs> It's like, uh, when, if you get that, uh, the dream with Snake, that he, like, thinks he's a vampire, it's like, have they, like, given you any 80-proof vodka? It's like, because we don't call that, uh, we, because in, uh, in my home country, oh, sorry, it was 100-proof vodka. It's like, in my home country, we don't call that drink. In, uh, in my home country, we call it sulfuric acid. Here, they've got 98-proof vodka in the East. Back in England, we don't call stuff like that fine spirit. We call it sulfuric acid. So anyway, let's meet up with Phil. Hey Phil, how's it going? Hey Tommy! How you doing? This bit too long! I swear you should lay off that boom shine, man. It smells like paint stripper. Just make my eyes burn. Shh, 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 Tommy. Hey, come over here because there's something I want to show you. Shop shit. Oof, God, should I be able to smell that from way over here? Like Don't oof. you worry about the Phil, smell, oof. Tommy. You just watch this. Shitty, cheap, bad news or something. There's some more on the bench. Ta-da! Oh, damn! <laughs> well, that just happened. Fuck, this is actually a really difficult mission. So, after getting sec um, con a contact high off of this moonshine, you gotta drive drunk. Watch out! Charlie the tree light! So, hopefully, I can take him to the hospital and not crash and kill him. Made of, or the roads made of jelly. 
No, they really are made of jelly. I'd like to think that asp that asphalt as it melts is technically in that category. Focus spurs. Come on, yeah. Got Alright, now he has something says something really weird about this hospital. Not the hospital, man. Too many cops in Vietnam. There's an ex-army surgeon who owes me a few favors. And a lot more. He's got a place down little Havana. Oh! Huh, giant fish. I genuinely wonder, like, how a body would react from being both severely injured and being drunk as fuck. So let's not crash. By the way, this. He's coming, boy. This is hard, but this is nowhere near as hard as it was on the PS2, where it, the controls really fucked you over. Jesus, that blood loss! For whatever reason, this is considered an asset, but a benefit of this is that you actually can buy new weapons from Phil, and they're all the freaking big damn heavy we uh, heavy weapons. So, that's just about it from Phil's place, but since we have his Hummer, I might as well put it away in storage. And where's the best place to put it in storage? In Sunshine Autos, which is where we're gonna finish up one more list. I believe Phil's gonna call us. Now, I mean, it's Phil. I want to thank you for helping me out back there, son. Damn Charlie, he'll always ambush you somewhere or the other. Anyway, the wound is healing well, and it means I'll no longer be defrauding the government on my disability check. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, that list, if you could read it really quickly, is almost completely sports cars. And sports cars can all be found on Starfish Island. So, you just have to keep looking there and you'll eventually get all of them. It's more a matter of actually recognizing some of them. And in a couple of cases, they're just parked. Most notably, or, um... Uh... Most noticeably is the uh, Infernus, which is which has always been in the driveway, but it is right here anyway, so we don't have to bother with that. Oh, hey! So, while, we're on, while, uh, while I was on my way over there, I got found a Cheetah, which, unlike the Infernus, is much more difficult to come by, although you'll still see it all the time. So yeah, this is... I'm not gonna say it's the most fun mission, because it's just essentially a fetch quest, but I will say this is probably the most rewarding one in terms of, like, actually getting that is like, oh, I found it, and then I get to drive it. Yeah, it's freaking fast. So yeah, cheat off the list. Funny thing is, I haven't had this list memorized or anything. It's just that I know that it's like most of the sports car. They're just sports cars. So I just think to myself, is that a sports car I haven't seen yet? And that's an Infernus uh, that is right there. I'd like to think it's the same guy just driving here. Actually, yeah, it did look like the same guy. So yeah. Okay, so, man, we're going in, yeah, we're going in, uh, in chronological order. So, anyway, I guess let's just, uh, go back to Starfish Island and see what we find. That is a BF injection, which is not on this list, but I believe is on the next one. So I'm going to take it and then put it away in my garage in, uh, on Starfish Island. Wait, that's a, yep, that's a cheetah. Oh, sorry, not a cheetah, a banshee, because I already delivered a, a cheetah. Alright, and now the banshee. Easy enough delivery. Oh my god, it's still in chronological order! So the only thing, so this, the phoenix, which I know, I know what the phoenix looks like. It looks like a saber, but with, um, I guess it's like, a, it pretty much does look like a saber in other games, but in this one it's actually a bit more uh, sportsy looking. But I think it is another car that you can find parked. Or... No, that's a Banshee. It's a, it's a car, that, again, that you'll find at Starfish Island. Don't drink and drive! That was a very appropriate quote, actually, given our last mission. If you heard him, he just said, don't drink and drive. Oh, there's a Comet! Wow. Okay, so this one has a consistent spawn. That's a Stinger! Okay, never mind, I'm getting this. So the comet has a consistent spawn place, which is in front of the, um, which is in front of the, 
um, golf course. But this one does not. The Stinger is a... Oh my god, they're just spawning cars directly in front of me to mess with me now. Um, but the Stinger does not have a consistent spawn point as far as I know. Uh, it's just, um, uh, you just kind of find it. So now we have only two left. The Phoenix and the- That's the Phoenix! Oh my god! Um... So... I'm going to drive this for like 10 seconds and then just uh, get out to do that. So I'm hoping that will be enough to keep it spawned so that I can just run down the street and collect the uh, phoenix. Oh my god. Okay, so far this is the smoothest of any of the car collection games, but... You kind of expect that, because these cars are very, very easy to find, and they're also... It's it's very easy to learn these cars' names, because they're all very good cars. And... it looks like it stayed spawned! Alright. So, no- NO! <gasps> God damn it. Ah, oh, man. So... Right there, what I was about to try to do is, like, do the same thing I just did to the owner of this phoenix but do it for the comet that just passed by. Um, so, whatever. I basically completed this, because the next car has a consistent spawn point. So, yeah, there you go. And last one, the comet. This is probably going to require the least amount of editing, because, like, the second list was so heavy with me, like, just looking forever. <laughs> All right. So, wow, the infernus that I drove, that I drove for like a second state here, but the, but the Comet didn't, oh, okay, I guess the Comet I think was still being driven, I didn't kill that driver. Anyway, let's just go on to, um, let's just go to the golf course and get the car there. And easy enough, it's always here. I change into the golf clothes, but I just don't want to. You can always just steal this like nothing. Actually, considering Starfish Island isn't even open from the beginning of the game, this is probably the best car you can get consistently, since it is really fast and does have pretty decent handling. It's just that it's outclassed by the Cheetah and the, um, not the Banshee, because the Banshee's kind of, uh, has pretty rough handling. But the, uh, but the Cheetah, yes, and the, uh, Stinger, yes. Okay, now, in pretty simple steps, we have just finished the third list of Sunshine Autos. All the cars. He's a little something special. Okay, so now we have this monster truck, which I don't think is a very good reward for getting all the sports cars. But anyway, this last list is actually kind of the weird ones. The Voodoo, the Cuban Herbies, the Caddy, the Baggage, Mr. Whoopi, and Pizza Boy. So the Voodoo and the Cuban Hermes are both attached to gangs. Caddy is just the, the, uh, the, is just the golf caddy from, uh, from the golf course, obviously. Baggage is the baggage claims things from, or sorry, the, uh, the tiny car carriers from, uh, uh, for, from the airport, Mr. Whoopi is actually impossible to get unless you get, unless you buy the, um, unless you buy the, uh, sh Cherry Poppers place, then you have easy access to it, and the Pizza Boy is obviously just a pizza delivery bike. So, we're actually done with all the side quests, by the way. Doing the rifle range earlier finished every single side quest we can do, so the only thing left is to do story-based missions and non-story-based missions. And first off, we're gonna do the, the non-story-based missions, so join me next time when we meet up with Kent Paul and Love Fist in downtown Vice City and see what they want from us. See you guys! Yeah.